I'm Scott Owl Miller. It is the 25th of March, 2023. This is my vlog of daily life living in Leon, Nicaragua. Today we're doing something fun for you guys and for us. Uh, Marcella and wanted to go show off the new Malecon, that is the public beach access and events area in Las Pinitas. The Intour and the Nicaraguan government have been doing a bit of work on that and they have a bunch of beautiful new stuff that's going to be ready for Semana Santa in two weeks. So we're taking the kids out, Liesl and Luchana, uh, to go see that and uh, then we're going to go get some food at the hotel. So I'll see everybody from Las Pinitas. New Malecon after the bump. Seriously hot and sunny. We are just arriving at the Las Benitas Malecon. There's a good number of people here. There's a bunch of construction still going on. The government has been doing a lot of work here and that's what we're coming down to show. I mentioned this on the video just the other day. So there's all kinds of new things happening and they're actually working on it right now. So we're walking up to the edge and we're gonna, we're gonna show real quickly what's going on. We got the girls with us here and there's a way to walk around, but this, you got a pretty good view. They're actually doing construction. Ah, gracias. They're doing some construction right now. This is the brand new fountain in the center. So this was just an empty spot previously. And uh, this is absolutely gorgeous. This is so cool. It was nice before, but it was just very plain. But this is this is gotta be the best fountain I have seen in Nicaragua yet. The dolphins and the, I'm not sure what kind of fish are at the top. And these swans, this is, could be swordfish, yeah. But this is great. We'd heard some cool stuff was going on out here, but this is really fantastic. I am super impressed. I'm, uh, I'm guessing that they're gonna try to have this on for Semana Santa, which is coming up in just about a week. Uh, so there's a lot of work being done very, very quickly, which is normal. The, uh, the main uh, sign that says, Welcome to Ponaloya Las Benitas, was done for Semana Santa last year, which is the busiest day of the year. Uh, so this is done and uh, restaurant Bertha is very very popular seafood restaurant here and uh, the ranch right over there is a very big restaurant with pool these are some of the big ones and then this place is very very slow most of the year but come Savannah Santa El Parguito Rojo is quite popular as well then these beautiful steps these actually lead to Pona Loya so a lot of people go up there to get shade, places to, to sit and eat or whatever, uh, but this is the transition zone. So if you go up there and just walk a little ways, you'll come into Ponaloya's Malecon, which connects to this. So it's very nice that you kind of have everything uh, connected in such a nice way. So it is very, very hot. Everybody's hiding in the shade to try to get away from it. Now check this out, like everything's new. So we came down to check this out because uh, this was, essentially basic so so like this grass and everything was here the circle was here the restaurants were here but all these things are new so these are beautiful new swings that are not quite in service yet i'm sure they work um or we would get pictures on them right now but these are gorgeous those are really so we know these these are um a, a couple thousand dollars for swings like this and this beautiful pergola that they've put up this is awesome all new paintings this is all new the walls were here but they're newly painted all of these animals these are new and then if we look up so there's stairs around the corner and they go up there's a mirador up there and we're gonna go film up there in just a little bit but they did this all the way along here i'm gonna turn and show these got the crab statue here as well and these new swans those are the showers there uh just outdoor showers for people who are here on the public beach because that's what this is and then you can see the steps going up to the mirror door there and uh some some a crab statue there as well we have the sea lion we do actually get sea lions here we have had them on the beach previously oh we got some wind And they redid this building down at the end. So the Malecon here is not that large. It's not a it's not a huge amount of space, but it is 
It is really attractive. I'm really impressed with the work that they did here. So these are the public bathrooms. We did not have this. This is a new building. There was just, uh, if you watch my videos from two years ago, there was just a uh, uh, food cart parked here and they've put in this new public bathrooms. This is fantastic. And then this just goes out onto the beach and uh, you can see some of the hotels and things here past the edge of the Malecon. And they even painted the backside of this. Very cool. So this is very impressive. This is this is great. I'm really glad that we came out here. I'm hoping that the kids are enjoying this. We're going to head up there in just a little bit so you can see uh, what the Mirador has to offer. The uh, the famous cross of Las Minas is just past where those people are up on the rocks. I've done very little filming out here just for whatever reason, um, even though we lived here for a very long time. Uh, and I used to walk down here with the dogs all the time, but I wouldn't bring a camera when I did that. So this is a great opportunity to... Uh, to show off this great spot. All right, we are heading up to the Mirador. All right, I'm gonna do my best not to fall over as I head up the stairs myself. Uh, the kids are already pretty much at the top. It's not the, it's not the wildest of views, but it is pretty nice. You get a lot of wind up here though. So I'm not gonna record audio, but they did put new stuff up here. They're in the process of putting new stuff. So we're gonna show that. And there's some new walkways. They've newly painted everything. A lot of this has been here. There's some stairs or uh, some seating and stuff so you can just watch the ocean. It's just, it's beautiful up here. We have a new statue going in up here. All right, we did our adventure at the Malecon and discovered that Paul's unable to come back and pick us up. So we are walking to the hotel, not what we were hoping for. Uh, it's very busy with traffic and parking and everything. Some new construction going on out here. I think this is part of the drainage system. Hola. And uh, something new here as well. Not much. We're just coming past Nile. That's what this is over here. Sorry for the wind again. This is this is really terrible. So I'm not going to do too much talking out here. But I just wanted to show where we are and show that we are now walking, having checked out the Malecon. We're heading down to our hotel for some lunch. We managed to find a ride for the girls, not enough space for me. So I'm walking down, but they're having a nice leisurely, <laughs> leisurely tricyclo ride. I have not had a chance to eat here yet, but right here is the new Polish restaurant on the beach, new being almost a year. Honestly, it's been quite some time and uh, they've done a lovely job with the place. We watched it get built, it's friends of ours. And uh, for a long time, they didn't have vegetarian options. So we weren't coming down to try it, but I understand that they have some stuff now. So some point, pretty soon, I hope, because I'm never out on the beach, I'm gonna come down and give it a try and uh, film some of that for you guys. But that's where it is, pretty close to the north end of Las Benitas. Holy cow, is it hot out here? This is a long walk. I think it's about two kilometers, which is not tragic, but it's mostly exposed, it's out in the sun. It is hot. We're, so I'm recording this a week before Semana Santa. So Semana Santa starts really soon and that is the busiest day, uh, week of the year. Uh, but the week leading up to it tends to be a little bit of a lull. People stop going out as they prepare to go out for the big holiday. So this weekend is busy, but it's not incredibly busy. It's just kind of normal, pretty busy out on the beach. And so this is the walk that I used to do with the dogs all the time. I used to film this just constantly and uh, have not had a chance to come out and film here for quite some time. It's nice to uh, do the walk again after, uh, after a while of being away but I wish it wasn't such a hot day and I wish I wasn't doing it so close to noon. Like this is really not the best time to be doing this at all. I'm pretty close to the hotel. There are some new things, not a, not a ton of new to show. Like if you go back and watch my old episodes in Las Benitas, they look pretty much the same, but this, they've got a new little, I mean, the building's been there, but that raised platform around the tree, it's really cute. And that was not there before. And we're just coming up on Caracolita, Caracolito, I should say, which is just a little snail. This is the hostel that we tend to send people to when we are full at the hotel. Mateo's place, a lot of great people there. This is where we did karaoke with Alan last week. And they do owe me a breakfast. <laughs> so nice, uh, nice Caribbean styled 
hostel. If you're looking for a hostel here in Las Benitas, great place to go. Very affordable. Buenas tardes. All right. We're coming around the bend here. This is the start of the curve. Caracolito kind of kicks off the busy part of the beach. You can't tell because it's a field next to it, but this is where life really begins. If you're looking for the lively Las Benitas, this is the zone from here down to the corner. And uh, ooh, this is never open. I've never actually gotten to see in here very much. I'm gonna use the camera so that we can remember it later when I never get to see it again. And a lot, of, a lot of times in the old videos, I filmed in here, but it didn't have all these walls and stuff. It was just an open space. And I filmed in that field a ton, which it's open again. I kind of want to go film there just for old time's sake. Here, they're finishing the side of this house. That's nice. Every so often that gets rented out. So that's, uh, I think that's a new front wall, actually. I think it's not just refinishing it. I think they're redoing a little bit there. They took down the sign. There used to be a sign on this corner that pointed to things that had been gone for a long time. So it's nice to see that that came down. And uh, that's Puesta del Sol right there, the Italian restaurant. These beautiful pink flowers coming up over the wall. Wow. I hope the colors come through on the show. So I'm nearly to the hotel. So this is the busiest restaurant in town for sure. They're always packed. Of course, it's middle of the day. This is not not the time they would be packed. And we're coming past, or coming up on, I should say, Playa Roca on the right. On the left is Mono Loco, the sandwich place. Uh, let me just show, this is a house that's owned by Playa Roca. It's a very nice house. And then this is Playa Roca here, newly painted walls. So you guys have not seen this yet, but before I show the Playa Roca new paint job. So Mono Loco is, or was a little sandwich restaurant very little to it, but they did not make it. They went out of business. Now they do have a new fence that just, or a gate, I guess, that just went in. I don't know if anyone has bought or rented it. As far as I know, it was rented before, not uh, owned by the operator. Uh, so I think they're still looking for someone to rent it and reopen it. But that's how tough things have been here on the beach. Even a little sandwich place with an incredibly small staff uh, that was just rented has struggled to stay open. On the left, Cholitos. Same as always, late night party. And we're coming up on the simple. For all my viewers who want to know, yes, this is my hotel and restaurant right here. And this is what used to be the main entrance and sometimes is, but this is what we're using as the main entrance now over at the restaurant. New menus coming soon. We are heading to the beach. Hopefully got some food waiting for me. I ordered ahead because that was a long walk to be coming down without any food waiting for me. So we got to the hotel and the girls were waiting for me. We had already ordered dinner and we sat out on the beach and we had a really nice lunch and actually had a really nice time hanging out. They enjoyed, they didn't really like going to see the Malecon, but I think they're glad that they saw it because they never really knew what was there. I couldn't get them to go out to the cross, but it was nice coming out and seeing the beach and they enjoyed being able to come to the hotel and see that. They haven't been there for a while and we have kittens at the hotel, so they played with those for a while. And uh, when we left, uh, Luchana actually said, you know, we should come to the hotel more often. We had a nice time. I'll try not to get the dog poop in there. And uh, it, was, uh, it was a nice day. So we had a really nice time, came home and relaxed. And I worked on some video stuff and we watched TV and uh, had a more or less relaxing evening. We were all exhausted from yesterday. So our evening was just hanging out at the house, watched some movies. I watched, I've seen this before, but I watched completely in Spanish, Ocho Apolitos uh, Vasco, uh, which is the number one movie ever from Spain. It's in English often called The Spanish Affair, but very good comedy, like a rom-com. I like it a lot. And it's sequel. Uh, it used to be on Netflix, but I don't think it's available anywhere. So we bought it on, on Apple TV, but it's one I've wanted to own for a while. So that was it, bought that hung out and uh, very relaxing evening here at the house. Thanks for joining me. Please remember to like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel. Just look down there. I've got it, or it's probably up here, buy me a coffee, buymeacoffee.com slash Scott Allen Miller. And thank you so much to Javier who bought me 50 coffees uh, this week. Um, that 
so, so helps the channel. I have a couple big purchases coming up just to let you guys know what it is I'm thinking about buying. Uh, in theory, in April, which is coming up in a few days, uh, DJI, who makes the drones, is going to be releasing a new camera. They make action cameras. That's not what I'm looking for. They specifically make a vlog and travel camera called the Pocket. They make the Pocket 1, the Pocket 2. They're fantastic, but I've been holding out for the new Pocket 3, which has been rumored to be coming for quite some time, the 2 being already over three years old. So I'm really excited about it because I think it's going to up the vlogging game quite a bit for us. I'm hoping to get HDR and I'm hoping to get uh, focus and stabilization stuff that the GoPro doesn't do. I'll wait for this noise. They're in the process of installing a new fence at our neighbor. So it's been really loud between welding and sawing and everything going on. But and this crazy dog, you're so crazy. Um, so uh, uh, we had a nice evening. Oh, so the, uh, the, the Pocket 3, I'm really hopeful for that. And I really want a 360 camera. I'm hopeful that GoPro will finally get off their butts and bring out the Max 2, which will be the third generation of their 360 camera. But at this point, they've gone so long, it feels like they've abandoned that completely. And it may just not be coming. They've done so little to promote it, so little to keep their 360 ecosystem going that I'm about to give up on it. So I have, it looks like in the first week of July, I have a, a big block of stuff coming down from the United States. And I'm going to be bringing cameras and batteries and all that down. Then I have to make do with what I have until then. So I'll be replacing my GoPro media kit at that point, getting a bunch more batteries, like at least four really got to up my GoPro game because I don't get to get a new GoPro for at least probably and maybe in December. Um, but so if they don't have a 360 cam out by then, I'm going to, I think, switch to Insta360 for that and just get, I, I hate it because I love the GoPro ecosystem. I'm so happy with them. But if they're not going to produce a camera, I can use my hands are tied. Insta360 X3 looks fantastic and I think it's going to meet my needs really well. I just wanted to keep everything GoPro because you get the insurance and the return policies and it all works through the same system. I wouldn't have to have any different mounts or anything but uh, it is what it is the insta360 does have advantages that the gopro doesn't currently so i'm i'm not completely upset that to check out something new but i was trying really hard to uh to stay with gopro anyway i can't handle the amount there's there i'm only getting a few seconds and they go for several minutes like and subscribe share in social media i will see all of you tomorrow